All right. First thing we're going to do is focus on installing everything we need for this course. To start, we will install Homebrew, which in turn we will use to install PyEnv, which in turn we will use to install Python. So what is Homebrew? Well, I think the website puts it very nicely. Homebrew installs all the stuff you need that Apple doesn't. To use it, we got to make sure we first have Xcode installed from the App Store. To install Xcode, simply go to Google and type in Xcode in App Store, and you should see it here. It's free to download. It takes a little bit, but it's pretty straightforward. Make sure to follow the steps, and after that's downloaded, we can go back to our Homebrew page. After you've installed Xcode, we're ready to install Homebrew. The nice thing about Homebrew installation is that you can place it wherever you'd like because it installs packages to their own directory and then symlinks their files to user local. Now, a few reasons why we want to use Homebrew to install Python are, first, the Mac OS uh, updates can often nuke our Python packages, forcing us to reinstall them, which is a real pain in the butt. Second, as new versions of Python are released, the Python bundled with the Mac OS will become out of date. The good news is Homebrew always has the most recent version. And third, Homebrew's Python includes the latest versions of pip, which is a Python package management tool that we will use to install all of our packages and modules. So now that you're ready to install Homebrew, simply copy this line and head over to the terminal, and you're going to paste it in here. Now, I already have Homebrew installed, so after I paste it, I'm going to exit out of it. But follow along and it should be a pretty quick installation. Once we have Homebrew installed, we're ready to use it to install PyEnv. PyEnv is a neat little trick that helps to manage different projects with different dependencies targeting different Python versions on your local machines. In other words, PyEnv allows you to install different versions of Python local to a directory. We will install PyEnv using Homebrew. If you do not have a Mac, I can link you to the PyEnv GitHub, which has instructions for how to install it on a Windows. But basically, we're going to follow these commands. We will type in brew install PyEnv. And now that PyEnv is installed, I can install Python using PyEnv. We need to install Python with the command PyEnv install and we are going to use Python version 3.6.6 .6 for this class. If we don't run this command, then we'll be using the systems Python, which is something we don't want because we don't have as much control over that one. Uh, basically, we want to make sure we're always using the PyEnv one. So running this command, again, I already have it installed, but you should see something. Great. And we also need to install it at the global level to make sure our terminal shell knows we want to use the PyEnv Python and not the system one. Basically, we're telling the system which Python to use as a default because there are many Python versions floating around inside your computer. To do this, we are going to run the command PyEnv global 3.6.6. Great. And just like that, we're all set. We are going to be using virtual environments for this project, which we will dive into during the next section. 